So hi and welcome back. Uh, so in the part, part before we created this one here, like we finished this, we put it here, some more edges and stuff like that. No. Uh, so now we are going to the back and we will create these details here. Now the method which I will use, I don't know if it's like regular or stuff like that, but uh, we need more edges here everywhere because the shape is not flat. The polyflow is right, but it's made for uh, subdivision or super smooth. And right here we have two lines of the poly. So if you you made it with using poly modeling, pure poly modeling, you will have here much more these edges, and we need them more. But uh, to cut or connect or chamfer, it will take like an age. So we will use a very simple method. We'll apply a triple smooth, just one, and convert this to poly. So now we have a shape, like you will uh, done this with poly modeling, probably. Like a lot of polys which are shaping everything, right? And smoothing perfectly. Okay, let's go to the back. Let's go to the back. Select our HTC. Hold X, and We'll make here templates. We'll make a templates, and after we'll cut the template shape uh, inside our model. Now let's hit a circle here, and I don't know. We'll make it a little bit bigger than it should be. Probably something like this. And the same we'll do here. The left detail I will make a little bit later. Like this. Now uh, we can move them a little bit to match the view, but it doesn't matter much because we are anyway not modeling absolutely after the reference. So now we have the templates here. We'll go here to cut. <coughs> and using the cut tool, we'll make or we will follow the template and make the cut uh, along the shape. Now uh, we could use shape merge on this, but Shape merge will put here a lot of vertex which we don't need, and because it's a curved shape, it's not flat, it will take us ages to fix. So we'll use uh, just something like this. So I will start to cut. I will first make the like the main cuts, and then I will do the second ones. So firstly, I will do this long cutting around. And now I will decide if I need just one cut, I will do here a cut. And again, here I will do two. <coughs> no, sorry. Here again, two, and so on. So I'm making more vertex to my shape. And after I will move them. So here probably also two. So we're trying to copy our template the uh, best we can, but we don't have uh, don't want to ma uh, make there too much vertex because it will make also some kind of mass. Okay, now let's uh, let's move them. Now we will use local on this one. It should work hopefully. Good on this. We'll try to keep some distance between them. And we'll slowly match a template now. The distance we keep because we'll inset later and stuff like that and it can destroy our shape with uh, just the insetting. So we'll try to make much distance as we can between them. <coughs> We have to drink a glass of water. Okay, so what we do here, we'll do also on the next shape. Firstly, do this small one, something like this, and the same, let's go do here. So, again, first of all, the big ones. 
Okay, here we have an edge. Now, this shape we will add it multiple times. Because we have some edges here which are good for so far, but later will cause some problems. I'm sure they will. But like this, we can shape a nice shape of a circle without any big problems. Okay, let's go back here. So now let's make here the same like before. So somewhere we'll put just one vert, somewhere we'll put two. Actually, I will put here one and I will move this one a little bit. I will try. I don't know if it, if it will work. So here we will do the same. Here we need just one, obviously. Here we can connect this one here. So we made a few angles, but it's not such a big deal. We can destroy the angles, we will not do that. Like there is a lot of ways how to fix angles. But we will not do that. Because it's not crucial for us, it's not destroying for us and stuff like that. But you should always keep in mind uh, to keep the angles at zero, but bad angle than triangle. So I will use this poly, uh, this word which I have already there. <coughs> Slowly I will move everything. Now this shape is a little bit like more complicated, like the shape on the right. Because here's the camera. Here's the camera, and we'll need to do a lot of editing here to make here some kind of camera. And we'll do also some bevels inside, stuff like that. And all of these will make the circle smaller and smaller. And as you can see now, the distance between the words are like ideal for circle. A hole for a circle, of course, but later it will not be okay. So, so like this. Okay, let's delete the circles. And you can see we have nice circles here. And let's select all polys inside. Now, this one here will somehow delete. Touch it well, yeah. It's too near to each other. Well, this one. Let's let's think. I think this one we can survive. This is okay so far. Okay, so let's select all the polys inside. My polys are okay, and I will for sure. Select you know back facing, so I will not select anything behind. Which will be a problem later because I will do here nice shapes and later oops. And now we will do insects. Do one like this, and again one like this. Okay, I will step a few times back before the insets and I will fix here some stuff which I found right now. Of course, for sure, with the moving. So we will try to edit them a little bit. It wasn't moving much, so mostly of the words are in the right position. But as you, as you saw, 
look this one here isn't bad so we need to fix this before we'll do anything else so the problem is not like the circle but the curved shape it's not a headache okay uh, now it should be fine we can go back view to see if the circle yeah the circle is fine so perspective again so now again it's set oh it looks better so one and a second hopefully everything is fine everywhere more or less actually anyway we are using later on this uh triple smooth so something Hopefully it will cover everything, like the evidence and stuff like that. So. But uh, we can, if if we found something, fix this very quickly just by moving. But just now, I will guess, but because uh, later when we did this, it was much harder. Okay. Okay, I don't see that anything. I'm looking. How I can, but <coughs> looks fine also in this view. So probably it's fine. So these details will take us some time, but it should be fine at the end. Okay, uh, I will select now just T shape here, and for this, uh, actually. I want to delete it in both, so I will delete both shapes. Let's go to uh, how it's called. Yeah, border. Let's select this border and we will drag it away. So hold on, shift, drag it away. Oops. Let's go to view. So we will not use bevel for this, but simply this technique to make here. The eye, or how, it, how it's called, or how it should be, and we'll fix the positions and stuff like that in the views. So here we'll position this one, and in the left view, we'll try this one. We can go one more. We'll just switching now views and moving this along, or we can just use this view here. Should be fine. Okay, one more time. Oops. So here should be some kind of circle. Uh, it's probably a mirror or something like that. If you want to take a picture of yourself, I guess. Okay, let's apply here to be smooth to see. I'm doing stuff right. We'll use two. Do I probably I do? Let's go to back view <coughs> and we'll fix this a little bit here too, because it's not a perfect circle. Okay, this this could be better. Cap this. Uh, we'll select this and set this a little bit. Set this again. Control this. Collapse. Let's go back to perspective. And both of these shapes, so this one, we need to drag a little bit away. This 
one word too. I'm trying to do here a mirror which is not easy, easy one shape. You do it like just like this. Loop this and we will apply here chamfer because I think this is so hard. Yeah, this is better. Okay, the top looks very bad. Okay, I think I will come back to this one a little bit later. So far, we will delete this one. Okay, before I go to the next shape, somehow select this one and put here one more thing. Select this edge, uh, loop it, and we will use extrude. Extrude on this, and we'll go a little bit down and make some kind of this detail here. I don't, didn't delete that. Ah, I just delete the word. Okay. Okay, now it's looking better. Now let's go to back view. <coughs> Probably one more fix here. Something which I done here, I guess. Okay, this is better. Okay, we have here the mirror. Almost done. Just need somehow to cap that. Which I'm not sure how we will do that so far. Loop this and go to selection, and I will go until here, I guess. Yeah, I will go here and I will make the adjustments after right here. Okay, so we have this shape almost done, or we can try to finish it. Now, why not? We'll see. Okay, let's go to back view. I think this will be the best view to edit this. Oops. So I got this one and let's go back to back. <coughs> okay, now let's look. I'll make here again a circle. Just like that. Because now it looks alright, but I think after it not so don't look so good. And using this template I will again move a little bit my words to match the template again. I'm doing this because the insets and the bevels which we done moved a little bit everything. So if it's a big shape it will be different like when it's a small shape like this. So this this actually the same I will do a little bit later on 
the left shape. Let's go to perspective. Have a look on this. Let's go so far. Let's turn this off. I have a four. I think the moving wasn't didn't do any damage. It's okay. Uh, now it should be actually a little bit better. The circle here should be much more like a circle. Actually, I will. I think I will also check the this bottom here. I don't like this one. The rest I like, but. I really don't like that. So how I told, uh, this will take us really some time to make. Yeah, according to this, I should move this forward somewhere here. Yeah, cool. Just a template. Okay. Oh, when when we have it already, so black looks on everything. So we're, we're positioning all only this stuff a little bit, trying to make the shape really like a circle. As you can see, uh, the amount which I'm moving that is really small. Some of the changes are like big. Okay, cool. So well, let's delete that circle and let's try to finish the top. Try so far, I have no idea how. I know how, but pride it will not look nice. Or nicely. You can try to hold down shift and set it. Oops. Ay ay ay. I saved that. Which wasn't the best idea. Anyway. Nothing bad, bad. So I, I will do. Stop like this. I'll loop this and try to move along with my shape. I think I will do this a little bit different how it should be. Maybe. We'll see in a while. Anyway. And once more. Okay, this looks good. And we need to really to cap that. So we will not do anything inside. And no, the top is still missing something. Oh. <sighs> Horrible. I'm really bit sad that I saved my file. Problem when I will like make this bad. Anyway, it's uh, my problem, not yours. Okay, let's insert this, and we'll try again. Like collapse everything here. Will not move anything, and it shouldn't be there. Actually, nothing which. Ah, cool. Now it's fine. No, it's not. How is this possible? It's possible that there's just one thing that's holding me uh, before I can end this. It's too sharp, I guess. Hmm. 
Okay. There have to be a way. I will delete this. I don't know if the poly uh, the poly is still there. File again. Nah. Make this. I think I will come back to this later. Anyway, I think I did some of the things uh, a little bit bad, like probably actually. Like here, I could end. Put that time, it's fine. So I will cap that uh, later. So far. let's go to this one because we will not do anything. Okay, uh, so we are here. This I can cap. I will explain why because this is the camera and the camera should be flat. Of course, the objective and stuff like that. Because if you took a picture, you don't want to like rotate the mobile to make a straight picture. So I will make this absolutely straight and move away. A little bit. I think a little bit more. Something like this. Uh, I will insert this shape and bevel inside. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, this is better. And in this stage, I will again make here the template of the circle. And try to fix anything can bet there or stuff like that. So now it's a perfect circle, but meanwhile it don't have to be one. Turn off this one. And make the circle to try. You know, okay, we try to fit it inside. Uh, okay, like this, it should be fine. Now well, there's almost nothing which I have to move. If I'm looking right, maybe just small. Adjustments, but even a small ones can destroy our shape, like this here. In other words, <coughs> okay, I think doors is fine. I think I will keep uh, the circle there. So now I will do again inset. Now in this inset, I don't want this to have two. Uh, this one here, there are two together, so I will collapse them to one. And so far, there is the only one which bothering me. Now, in perspective, I will try to shape the shape of the camera a little bit. Probably I will do more bevel inside. Now it would be nice to have it set. I'll go with this shape a little bit deep. More deep. And I will again look on the words. I know this process is like, it takes ages to do, but uh, I don't want really to do 
very very nicely and clear clearly so uh, let's try this first so so far it's a perfect circle it's something which is very good now uh, let's look here here is everything okay again few of them can be now out of the shape a little bit you have to understand that we all the time moving the shape step by step and there really will be some of them which will not fit the template the circle so all the circles here are the shape will be destroyed and we can start over. We can move this a little bit to the middle. So because this I'm doing that. I know it takes some time, long time actually. By the end uh, we could we have to have a nice shape. One more. Okay, it should be okay now. Oops. <coughs> so I don't know actually the shape of the camera how it should be. There have to be some objective and stuff like that. So I will now go up, but not like much, just like this. Do again and set and double down. from the shape like this ay 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 it's, it's too high let's go down because on this should be a color color glass a protective glass or something ok now it's fine now let's look And yes, it's something what I really want to have like this. There are, I think, just few of them which I would like to move. And we will do it, of course, using our magical template here. Turn this off and position this to a circle. Hmm. Why is this so? Strange. Hmm. No, it doesn't matter. Okay, we'll do it again. Okay, this could not work. Maybe I'm trying, but okay, all the time when I move that, it's different. Okay, I will not do that. I'll just try to move, make it like by hand. It's probably because the circle is in an angle. I'm not sure. Okay, anyway, let's look. Perfect. Okay, I'm very satisfied with this detail here. Just need, yeah, this one. Collapse, I think, also here. I 
think it looks very fine. And we'll make there some chamfers to resmooth the shape or how to draw. First of all, make here one more bubble. Now it's a little bit smoothing too much. Say okay. So first of all, select this one, control edge, this, this, this loop, apply a small chamfer. Like this. We'll make a chamfer here. Oops. Not a big one. Here and think two more here and there. Okay, let's look. <coughs> okay, perfect. Okay, the camera is done. Now, one more thing, I guess. Something similar, which I did here. I want to do also here, even that I don't have here the edge. So, we'll try to do it here. I don't know how they're looking. So, if we're looking bad, I will just go under one step. I was looking fine. Slightly small detail. Okay, cool. This took us a lot of time to do. The result is like very nicely. Now let's go back to this shape. Oh, monkey shape, actually. HTC, HTC, HTC. Where are you? Man, I'm stupid. Turn this off, just to be sure. Now, one thing I don't like here is this what I did actually. It's not so nice, so. Thinking about, I, I want to join this to that. Okay, let's try it like this. Uh, loop this, control, and we'll weld, and we'll weld it. Oops, too much. The value like this. So it will be again one shape. Okay. It's better. Now, what to do with this stop? Trying to lose faith to any. Maybe we'll finish this. There is a problem because the top is not flat. Can try to make it a little bit flat. Can try to make it again cup. Set that. Move it away. Make it flat and try to rotate that a little bit. Okay, let's, let's look on that now. No, it's not absolutely like I would like to have it. There is your. There is actually just a little bump now, which is causing what? Oh, I have no idea. Something here. Oh, it's causing actually this one in the middle. <coughs> so let's try to do one small inset and push it away a tiny little bit. 
and I will keep it like this. You know why? Ah. Damn, I'm already like sad. Fixing this. Oh. Anyway, this will be a mirror. It doesn't matter much. I really don't have luck with shaping this. This is possible. Set to zoom. So. Okay, when I zoom on that like this, it's really too high. Everything there. Let's try to go to local. So, move this. Hopefully. This could be a little bit better. Go to back. Okay, it's almost in the middle. Oh, I don't like that, but uh, oh, that's fine. Cool. Okay, so it was a hard fight, but it's fine. Okay, uh, when we are here, we can make one less adjustment. it will be to join this to that. I will try something. No, don't do that. Just wait for a while. Try to collapse this together. And we have here the, the last detail. I think after I will stop. Take a break. The next ones are not so hard to do. This one was the horrible, the horrible one, the hardest. Okay, let's try this. Cool. Okay. Like more. Yep. Uh, okay. What I wanted to do? Yeah, I know. Uh, we need here the cup. Uh, we can do the glass part. Very easily from the shapes which we have here. What's I like some edge here to zoom on that? Mm -hmm. Okay, select this one here. Bring that. Control Poly. Hold on Shift. Put it away. Clone to object. Select the wall object, flip that, cap it from one side, to the other side, and we need to select both polys and insert them. Okay, this will be the glass part. So I'll we'll name it. Maybe I should make one more adjustment, and it will be chamfering the other edges. They are too hard. There is better. And um, let's. Make it two, yeah, it's perfect. Camera glass. So I will I will know that this will be the glass. Uh, let's affect to the center. And let's put it on the place. So I know it's I think it's slowly 
touching the camera, but it's fine, I guess. So like the bottom poly, just the bottom one. Glue it uh, until the chamfer which we did, and make it more flat. It's just like a oyster shape. And we will place it like this. Okay, let's go to the last detail, <coughs> and I will stop here because I already have a headache from this HTC. If I will know that it will take me so much time, I will ever do that. Okay, uh, we'll try something similar here probably, or we can use shape merge here. Uh, here it should be okay because the shape is not exactly... Uh, Exactly a circle, so I was thinking. And I think it will be fine, so I'll make you a bigger circle like this one. Actually I have no idea what is this here. Convert the circle to spline. Check the word. Uh, refine and place very near to the center a few more. Now well, let's just make something like this. I think I hope you like. I know it takes some time. It's take much more time than just read something like this in a book. Now I will use some polys which I have here. So I will look how they look. They are look. They look okay. So, I'll move it a little bit down. Like this. Now, let's use the shape merge on this. Compound objects, shape merge, pick shape, shape picked. Convert to poly. Delete this because we don't need that. It's a little bit on the edge, but. It's fine, I guess. Uh, let's go to back. I will already apply triple smooth. So we are working from a very low poly model to a very high poly model. Because this model is a high poly model. It's like, you cannot do all the details with low polys. Imagine that. Maybe someone can, I don't know. Let's use weld to get rid of some words which we don't need. Hey, too much. No, this could be fine. Now, for sure I don't need almost any here, because this should be straight. This I will keep, this I will keep. <coughs> now with the shapes selected, I uh, will do it set one. I will cut uh, the shape and anchor it around. So the same like by the circles, just on a different shape. So like this, uh, it's like that. I will go back somewhere. I don't know where because I have no idea what this should be. It's too much anyway. I will go somewhere like just like this. Select this one here. Loop. I can't loop. Okay, never mind. I'll try to reverse mode how it's looking. Oh, it's looking fine. Just some 
stuff to fix. <coughs> Turn to perspective mode. Selecting this, I will do a chamfer here. Not such a big one, smaller. Which could fix something. Oops. Bigger. No, it's better around. And now the inside, the inside will be a little bit harder. Because the curved shape, I will try to make the chamfer. Because I have no idea what should be here. I don't know what kind of details I have to do. Uh, maybe it's a mic or something. Oh, I don't know. Should maybe more study the reference pictures. So I will keep it like this so far. <sighs> it was a hard fight just with this one. I hope it's just a shadow work here. It's not looking at me like fix me, fix me. And I would just tell I have no idea how, I have no idea how. Now it's fine. Here we go metal, nobody will see anything there. Okay, so we did details in the back which took us a lot of time. Now you can look on this here if you want. I don't want but can go to bottom because I think here is something to uh, somewhere here and here. There is just two shapes which no meanings like this and this hmm. circle something else. Uh, I don't know if I will do them actually. Maybe later. If there will be time and I will not be so tired like to, uh, like so far. So I will keep the part like this. So I created the details on the back. Took us a lot of time to do them. The camera, the mirror I guess. And this this shape. Uh, so as you can see I didn't destroy the shape even that I wanted to delete the model and delete the tutorial and stuff like that because I was already oopsie. like at the end. I deleted one poly here, which I will just cap. Whew. And I hopefully didn't destroy anything else, my shape. So I hope you like it so far. So good. Now, next details will be here on the top, on this side, or on the other side, yeah, on this side some plugs here and there and here is nothing well maybe that one on the bottom so a lot of details to do maybe I will be able to do it in the next part I will think start with this on the top and proceed to something nice so again I, I hope you like that it's a really like complicated shape as you can see it's not easy to do but slowly we are proceeding and making a nice small shape so thanks for watching so far and i will see you in the next part so so far bye bye